Hello and welcome to South Wales. We travel to the Liberty Stadium in Swansea. I'm Derek Ray, ready here on the commentary position, and alongside me is the former Arsenal, West Ham and commentary midfielder Stuart Robson. I'm looking forward to bringing you the cut and thrust of the championship. It's Swansea City, and they take on Blackburn Rovers. Well, Derek, when looking forward to this game, you can't help but notice there are some great matchups all over the pitch, particularly in those central areas. Whichever team wins more of those battles will win the game. dissect the Swansea City lineup. Well, I'm intrigued to see how their two midfield players cope in there today because they look very isolated. Yes, they're good athletes and skillful players, but it's asking an awful lot of them. And here's the lineup for Blackburn Rovers. Well, in this shape, unless their wing backs play further forward, there won't be any width in their attacks, which then puts a lot of pressure on the strikers to provide the goal threat. Thank you, Liberty Stadium. Enjoy the game. And the match is underway. Downs. And Christie on the ball. Kyle Norton. Well, moving the ball impressively here. Holding it up, waiting for support to arrive. And that's a corner. Keen to take it short here. This looks interesting. Body in the way. They favoured a short one here. Good tackle. Bodies forward and the break looks on. Sam Gallagher. Oh, a perfectly timed pass. Just couldn't capitalise there. And he saw the situation developing. Into the advanced position. Good stop from the keeper. <laughs> Trying to pick out a teammate. Not really the ideal clearance. Foiling his opponent completely. Well, it's a really poor challenge. Now, what's the referee going to do about it? And a yellow card, it's going to be Stewart. Yeah, the ref's got that right. It's a yellow card all day long.
technique, but it wouldn't go in for him. Well, he just couldn't get enough topspin on the ball, but you have to say it was mighty close. Shielding the ball superbly. Downs. Wolf. Well, he likes to run at them, but nothing comes of it. Happy birthday to Alex O'Neill celebrating today. There to take it away. Joe Rothwell still pushing for that goal that would see them forge ahead and a goal to give them the lead they have their reward well here's the replay and it's a really good bit of play watch how he turns his marker and then has the composure to finish that's a top class goal And back underway, 1-0 it is. Quick thinking to dispossess his opponent. Well, the away side haven't bossed the possession, as you can see, but they've certainly shown an ability to counter-attack when they win it back. I expect more of the same. I think it's been a really good performance from them so far. Could be a chance to break here. Will it happen for them? Can't miss, surely! And he's got him scored to level us again! Well, here we can see it again, and it's all about the pace of the passing. One touch, slick movement, and from there, he never looked like missing. That's a lovely goal. Back underway, level pegging, one goal apiece in this game. It certainly wasn't a clean tackle, and the referee has got to book him, I think. And he does produce the yellow card. Yeah, and it certainly deserved a yellow. It's a poor challenge, you have to say. And unable to keep possession. <laughs> Flynn Downs. Cyrus Christie. We will have three minutes of additional time at the end here. And possibilities here. Well, disappointing end to the move. Joe Rothwell. And there it is, the half-time whistle. We certainly have got to give this man high marks for his work up to this point, Stuart. Well, he certainly got his team back into this game with that goal because up to that point, they hadn't played particularly well. I think he's had a decent first half, but he'll be looking to build on his goal in the second 45.
The two teams have switched around and are ready now for the second half. To be replaced by number 10, Tyrese Dolan. Joe Rothwell. Travis. Brereton. And that was a very fine read. Well, let's see what they have in store for them on the break. But nothing comes of it. Good defending it was. Flirting with more than a bit of danger following that challenge. He's already been booked. Well, the referee has made it clear. Another challenge like that. And he'll be off. It'll be a second yellow card. Well, he's got away with that one. If I was the coach, I'd be taking him off now. Thumped clear. On the offensive. Crossing opportunity. Can they make the connection here? Now showing excellent judgment to intercept. A bit sloppy in possession. He's got space. Cyrus Christie unable to get himself back onside here. Well, he was always going to be offside. That was the wrong option. Both teams have had substitutes swarming up, and now both will rely on their respective benches. Substitution for Blackburn Rovers. Coming off the pitch, number eight, Joe Rothwell. Coming onto the pitch, number four, Bradley Johnson. A wonderful intervention. Well, it's amazing how fans can be so blinkered with their views. They're going mad here. Couldn't hang on to it. Grimes. Jamie Patterson. And Cham has the ball in a position from which they could potentially do a bit of damage here but they took care of the situation defensively this might be ideal for the counter well that break looked so promising but nothing coming from it Wolf Manning has it well no stopping him and giving the ball away. He's using his strength to good effect. Good tackle. Oh, a nice looking pass. And I must say, that was a very promising attack. The alarm bells were sounding. Well, the atmosphere is so tense inside this stadium. But can they find that moment of magic to win this game? The crowd certainly thinks so. Just listen to them. No, high quality defending. Cyrus Christie, an incisive pass, and he could cash in. Oh, a goal! And is that going to be the one that wins it for them? There's every chance, and the fans are lapping this up. Well, here's the replay, and what a well-delivered cross this is. Perfectly placed, and the strike could not get any better. He hits through the back of the ball with such power. What a goal this is. Swan 
Well, the dramatic moment near the end, and that might well be the decider. Well, time is against them. They have work to do. And given away. Patterson. So two minutes of stoppage time to be added on. And Cham. Very comfortable when in possession. And Cham has the ball. And Cham. Not what he was intending. Bad pass. And there it is, the final whistle. And the fans will be leaving the stadium with smiles on their faces. Yes, Derek. Well, it could have gone either way, couldn't it? It was so competitive for much of the game. But they kept pushing, kept believing, and probably deserved the winner in the end. A great result. Well, we're highlighting him for a reason, Stuart. He's put in a really authoritative performance here. Well, it's a good performance. He worked hard, played well, and scored a goal. And his team won. What more could you ask for?